Recordology. There was a time in history when you could buy not only cologne out of a vending machine, but you could buy reading material out of a vending machine. And that's not all. You could even buy meat out of a vending machine. That is true. And not only meat, you could also buy cigarettes and have them lit for you out of a vending machine. Yes, you could buy milk out of a vending machine as well. But not just milk, you could even buy farm fresh eggs out of a vending machine, apparently still on the farm. And yes, you could even buy a hot dog out of a hot dog vending machine. This was the era of vending machines. And if you found yourself walking down the side of the road and felt the need for insurance, you could do that as well with a vending machine. And of course, beer, why not? A beer vending machine, they've already thought of that. If you need nylons, you can buy replacement nylons right out of a vending machine. So it makes sense that you can make a record with a vending machine. This is the voiceograph. It was like a phone booth that you could step into and actually record your voice, sort of like a postcard with audio, which is super cool. Now, all of this footage is courtesy of Bill over at the voiceograph.com website. He has this awesome 1947, I believe, unit. As you can see, it is so cool. It looks like a phone booth, but you can just step right inside and put your quarters in and make a recording. It's literally like a photo booth that are still around in the mall to this day, but for making audio. It's like a little miniature recording studio. So you put your quarters in. It's so cool. I want one of these so bad. And you can see it kind of ramp up down there. So it uses this amazing mechanism and suction to pull off a blank disc and then move that over onto the lathe where it is then recorded. So quick history, these were really big in the 40s and into the 50s and eventually died out in the 1960s. There's very few operational examples left. Now, I think Neil Young and some other artists made some news headlines by recording some things with uh, surviving examples of this technology. But it is super cool. And people would record just goofy stuff. They would record messages to loved ones. They would sing. You never know what you're going to get. It also plays records as well. Little Nat King Cole. The whole design of everything is just awesome, awesome, awesome. You can insert your quarters there and get a little slip sheet for it, which could also function as a mailer. And after you were done recording your voice, and it used a series of light bulbs with those little displays to tell you how much time you had left, it would move the recorded disc into position, and just like a photo booth, it would drop it down into the slot, and you would have your newly minted one-of-a-kind record to take home with you and cherish. So isn't that cool? There it is. Okay, so I happen to own two of these. Here's one of them. And I'm guessing it's sort of an acetate type of home recording technology, similar to that other acetate we reviewed uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I love, you know, the look of this. They're five inch discs, cardboard or paper stock, however you look at it. And uh, it's got a, a date of recording, which is awesome. I mean, these are truly time capsules. Uh, you know, who recorded it, who it's for, and then this amazing, you know, artwork here, just super, super cool. And uh, yeah, so I have not listened to this yet. I figured we'd do it together. I have one more, we'll listen to this as well. This one is interesting because it's double-sided, and I don't know if somebody just glued two of these together. I don't know enough about these to know whether or not, you know, they came as two-sided or single-sided. But anyway, very cool. As you can see, there's major damage there. Uh, some shrinkage, because I believe it was like a film, like a clear layer over the top of the paper. I'm not 100% sure of the construction, but uh, for those of you that do know, let me know in the comments below. But let's try and play it. I don't know what the quality is going to be like. I don't even know if this is 78 RPM or 45. I really don't. I'm putting it on the Collegiate because I was looking for a turntable that not only had the 78 capability, but also one that was fairly low compliance so we didn't have to worry about, you know, I wouldn't want to put like an elliptical on here. I don't want it to be, you know, overly compliant. You know, it's got to be somewhat rugged. So I have no idea if this is the right speed. I have no idea what we're going to hear. Like I said, I haven't listened to these yet, but here we go.
something to keep you awake at night so <laughs> so clearly this was a child in may may 6 1945 and you know this is the kind of thing that is sort of a novelty thing like hey look they have a just like those picture booths that are still around it's like cool look you can record your voice and you know they had um uh this child there's no name of who it was from and you know lost to time, you know, truly lost to time. The voices from the past, you know, who knows? But truly a, a very, you know, noisy window into the past. So who knows where these people are today, if they're still around. Just amazing. It's so, it's creepy, but it's cool. Um, this one, I, I presume, is also going to be kids because it says from joy, four years, to gay, one year and on the other side here this is from february of 1950 joy to gay perf what does that say petter oh that's their last name joy gay petterman i don't know but who knows what we're in for but some of these this would be a cool thing to collect because and they're not too terribly expensive on ebay but the idea of collecting like i'm thinking like sailors or people in the military sending messages back home it's kind of cool, but definitely 78 RPM. We've determined that. Oh, look, it doesn't want to move. And it says on there, if they don't, if they don't track right or they don't spin right, you can put a little something there to help, but it should be okay now. This one's really rough. Come, come, come. So there's a crack or something that's causing it not to advance to the, to keep following the group, it keeps resetting back and back and back. Just glimpses into the past. Let's see if the other side's any better. But man, a lot. I mean, when you've got grooves with this, I mean, look at this damage and obviously these look down here these weren't designed to last 70 years yeah i was doing math in my head make fun of me if you want uh 70 years you know they had no idea this was probably like a postcard you know you make it and then it you know whatever you may or may not keep it type of a thing but here we are can you turn it back? okay I heard jingle bells there for a little bit. <laughs> Poor stylus. This is why you don't want to put your priceless Shibata, you know, stylus on the... <laughs> So that's about all we're going to get out of that, I'm afraid. But, oh cool, it stopped in the perfect position. <laughs> I did that on purpose. You ever try, when you're putting gas in the car as a kid, or even as an adult, I still do this. you like, I got 20 bucks to spend, I'm going to go full speed on the gas pump, and then let off of it, and instantly nail it at 20 bucks, or whatever your limit is. You can do it every once in a while, you luck out and do it. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Um, I'm sorry these ones aren't in better condition. These were received as a gift which was unexpected and very much appreciated because 
I love the historic nature of these one-of-a-kind recordings. Speaking of one-of-a-kind recordings, if you're interested in one-of-a-kind recordings, we're going to be doing more on one-of-a-kind recordings in the near future. But I thought you would like this look at these very nostalgic pieces of time, history. You know, literally history recorded sometime, someplace, long, long ago. We just happen to have the privilege of even trying to decipher what it what it was. and So cool. You know what I mean? Again, back, hearkening back to before we had instant gratification of videos and music on demand. What a novelty to be able to make your own record. To be able to go into a little booth, record a message, and, he, and somebody could hear that versus just reading, writing on a postcard. So... Anyway, cool stuff, cool stuff. Let me know if you guys have any voice of graph records or anything of that nature. Also, if you guys have any cool or interesting things you want me to review on the show, we'll do a show about it for sure. Anything you got, send it our way. The P.O. Box address is in the About tab on our, on our YouTube page, so check that out. Anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.